Are we teaching here? God didn't tell Noah to build ark. God never asked Noah to build ark. Noah decided to build ark as his way of communicating what God revealed to him. Are you still in the building? Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers. How? By the prophets. Of course, you know that that's not a definition of faith, right? The faith here is referring to the hope of the Old Testament saints. The faith here is referring to their hope. Look at it in Hebrews 11.1. 1. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. That's not a definition of faith to get things. The faith here is referring to the hope of the Old Testament saints. The faith is the hope. The hope of the Old Testament saints. The substance. Faith is the substance. Hypostasis. That's the Greek word for substance. Hypostasis. H-U-P-O-S-T-A-S-I-S. Hypostasis. Of things. Pragma. Faith is the hypostasis of pragma. Things hoped for. The things there is activities. The hypostasis of the activities, the pragma, and hoped for the evidence, elekno, elekno, of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.2 For by it the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen the elders obtained a good report. Next verse. Through faith listen carefully through the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen, we understand that the walls, the aeons, the activities, we are framed by the word of God so that things which are seen, things which are seen, ark, flood, things which are seen, tabernacle, we are made of things. The message behind the ark, the flood, and the tabernacle was things that are not seen. So you look at ark, but the message is not the ark. The things you see, we are made of things not seen. That is, the message behind the scene is different from the scene. You see ark, you see flood, but the message behind that is not the ark, it's not the flood. The ark and the flood is used to reveal the message which you can't see, which is Christ. I'm teaching good. You see tabernacle, you see brazen serpent on a pole. That's what you see. But the message that the brazen serpent on a pole is communicating is not a serpent on a pole. It's Christ on the cross. Things which are seen were made of things that do not appear. The aeons, the activities. Don't be carried away by the activities to miss the unseen message. Don't be carried away by the seen figures to miss the unseen message. Am I communicating at all? So the Old Testament, you will see the seen, but the message is not in the seen. So he starts by talking about Abel. Abel by faith. 
Then Noah. Look at verse 7 of Hebrews 11. Pay attention. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet. What did God tell Noah? He told Noah of things not seen. What message did God give Noah? God gave Noah a message of things that are not seen. So Noah had revelation of Christ. Are you in the building? Noah had what? Revelation of Christ. Now look at that scripture, verse 7 of Hebrews 11. Of things not seen as yet. That's what God told Noah. Then Noah now moved with fear. And Noah on his own prepared an ark as his way of communicating what God told him which they couldn't understand without the ark to communicate. Are we teaching here? God didn't tell Noah to build ark. God never asked Noah to build ark. Noah decided to build ark as his way of communicating what God revealed to him. The New Testament reveals the Old Testament. Have I taught you that before? Don't be carried away by the activities to miss the message. Put that scripture again. I love that scripture. By faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet. Noah moved with fear and Noah prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. Teaching good? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> stay with me. Being warned of things not yet seen. What are the things not yet seen? Flood or Christ? Eh? Ark or Christ? So, don't get caught up with the flood and the ark and miss Christ. God, who at sundry times and in Polymeros, polytrophos. Okay, the two Greek words. Diverse times, sundry manners, polymeros, polytrophos. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners. What diverse manners did God communicate through Noah? Ark, flood. What makes it diverse? Moses didn't use ark and flood. Moses used tabernacle, brazen serpent on a pole. In the day of, of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, ark was not used, flood was not used, tabernacle was not used, brazen serpent was not used, fire was used. Diverse manners at sundry, so different times. The time of Noah, the communication was Christ in a different manner. The time of Abraham, the communication was Christ in a different manner. The time of Moses, the communication was Christ in a different So, diverse manner, the same message, depending on the audience. Are we teaching good? Sundry times, diverse manners, using the ark, to speak about things not yet seen. Using the ark, Makola Dabahata. Sometimes, if you can't catch you speaking tongues, I'll listen again. Using the ark to speak about things not yet seen. 